And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby with you. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be bringing you my 2019 holiday coffee recipes. Today I have three delicious coffee recipes for you guys. I think that they're a bit healthier than what you could find at your local coffee shop or Starbucks because I really do try to use real foods and no artificial flavoring or sweeteners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've put so much love into these recipes. I've been working on them for the past several months. If you do enjoy them and you recreate them yourself, then definitely go tag me over on my Instagram. Share it in a post or an Instagram story and I will be sure to reshare. And you'll also want to be following me over on Instagram this week because over there I will be sharing a non-coffee holiday beverage recipe that is going to be perfect for Christmas morning. So without further ado, let's make some coffee. So for today's recipes, I'm going to be making my coffee a few different ways. I'll be pulling shots from my espresso machine, making some brewed coffee in my French press, and using an instant coffee that I love. This is how I like to make my coffee, but feel free to play around with different brew methods and make your coffee how you like it best. And by the way, all of the products that I can link, like glassware, straws, coffee makers, and some ingredients will be in the description box if you're curious. Okay, so let's get started. So the first recipe we're making today is a special one because it can be made as a little gift set for a friend or would be a perfect treat to bring over to a neighbor this holiday season. This is my homemade peppermint mocha, which to me is the most quintessential holiday coffee beverage. For this recipe, we're going to mix up the mocha mix in a large bowl, and I have full detailed recipes and instructions in the description box for you guys in case I miss anything in this video or you want to quickly refer back, but we're just gonna be combining some of the instant coffee with some pure dark cacao powder. I'm adding some brown sugar for sweetness. You can use whatever sweeteners you prefer. And after whisking those ingredients together, I'm going to add some of this pure peppermint extract. I like this kind from the Wilton brand because it doesn't have any artificial flavoring in it and it tastes so good. It's perfect for this recipe. I'm going to incorporate that peppermint into the mix and by this time it's smelling amazing in my kitchen. To give this mix as gifts, I'm just putting about a cup and a half of the mix into a little gift bag and adding a candy stripe twine string. I add the bag to a new mug and pop a couple of candy canes in and you have yourself a nice little treat to bless a friend or family member or office buddy. A cold wind tonight when lights are low The treetops are covered up in snow To make this drink for myself, I'll spoon in two tablespoons of the mocha mix and add a cup of boiling water. Next, I add a splash of half and half and give it a stir with a candy cane and enjoy. The flavors of this drink remind me of my childhood and I feel all warm and cozy when I drink it. I love sharing it with Weston. We've enjoyed this on like date night in when we're at home watching a Christmas movie together. Super cozy to sip on by the Christmas tree and then you get that little end of the crook of the candy cane as a little treat afterward. I love this so much and I think you guys will too. It's cold outside, but the fire 
keeps us warm. We Next, we're headed over to my espresso machine to make my personal favorite holiday drink, a chestnut latte with a touch of vanilla. The chestnut praline latte has been such a staple at Starbucks for the past couple of holiday seasons and I just had to try my hand at making a homemade version and this one is super easy to make. Snow is falling down and the storm is on its way. I'm starting off by grinding some espresso beans really fine and tamping them down into the porta filter of my espresso machine. Before pulling the shots, I'm going to add some of this chestnut vanilla puree to my coffee mug. This reminds me of an apple butter consistency and it has that perfect chestnut flavor with a lovely hint of vanilla. I'm going to pull my shots directly into the mug and let the heat of them melt the chestnut puree. To incorporate it a little bit more thoroughly, I'm just going to use this little hand mixer and whisk it all up. But the difference this time. Next, I'm going to steam some almond milk with a steam wand on my espresso machine. If you don't have one of these, you can always heat the milk of your choice on the stove top or use a hand wand to froth the foam. I add that steam milk to my latte and top it with a little bit of that foam. This drink has been one of the ones I've enjoyed on chilly late autumn mornings. It's kind of my autumn into winter transition drink. I love the nutty flavor mixed with the rich espresso and foam on top. The best part is that it is so easy to make and is delicious hot or iced. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Come all ye faithful. The last drink I have to share with you today is a fun one. This is my sparkling eggnog cold brew. This would be such a perfect drink for a Christmas party and would be easy to make in larger batches for a bigger crowd. To start, I'm going to prepare my cold brew in my French press. I coarsely grind some coffee beans and add them with several dashes of ground nutmeg. Come let us adore him. I fill the French press to the top with boiling water and let that steep in the fridge until it's cold. If you have more time, you can do a true cold brew method and add cold water to the grounds and let them steep overnight. I'm going to add the cold coffee to a large glass mug and add the special ingredient, sparkling water. This is my favorite kind. It's from San Pellegrino and I've had it chilling in the fridge just for this recipe. Ever since sharing my sparkling coffee recipe in my summer coffee favorites video, I've had so many of you tell me how much you enjoy having those little bubbles in your coffee like I do. Oh yes, citizens of heaven above. And next, I'm adding some rich and creamy non-alcoholic eggnog to the sparkling coffee and giving it a stir. I top with a dash of nutmeg and voila, you have a rich and unexpected spin on a holiday favorite. This one is bound to be such a crowd pleaser. I grew up having ginger ale in my eggnog at Christmas time and this totally reminds me of that except it's even better because it has coffee in it. Well, that is everything that I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite holiday coffee drinks. Let me know in the comments which one you think is going to be your favorite. And if you do try any of them, like I said earlier, definitely go tag me over on Instagram. I love it when I post a coffee favorites video because so many of you try out the recipes or put your own spin on them and I love to see what you come up with. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your holiday season. I hope these coffee recipes help warm them up a little bit more or cool you down if you have that eggnog, sparkling eggnog drink. And I do hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel. Before you go, I would love it so much if you would check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. That smells so good. You look like judo when you did that. <laughs> ba, 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 da. That was a great shot. <laughs> Don't jump. Don't jump. Watch Charlie. Mother, Charlie. That would be nothing.
very cranky now. Shine the chrome so it looks like I take care of my house. Have a candy cane? Yeah, just a second. Mm.